guys, I thought I'd do a quick video and show you uh, the items that I'm going to be competing with at the PGI convention this year. I've just finished everything and finished labeling, and so before I packed it up, I thought I'd show it. Um, first of all, this year I'm going to compete in a couple of different categories that I haven't in the past. Um, one of those is the best small mine, and so I've created a couple of mines. Um, and I actually made little red cross sets for these and use um, so they're red strobe with red cross sets. So that'll be interesting this first year doing that. And another item that I'm competing in this or another uh, category is best small comet. So these are just charcoal tail comets that I've made. And this is the small category. And the uh, next item that I'm competing or, or category is uh, best small gerb and it's the first actually just learned to do these so thought what the heck I'll enter them in this best small one so these are just glittering silver gerbs so we'll see how those go and then in the uh, shell uh, competition this is my uh, best miniature shells and these are double breaks first one's a silver peony and the second's uh, red flashing stars uh, these, anything this small in the uh, miniature category, you have to uh, supply your own tubes for these. Uh, everything else, all other tube sizes, um, unless it's some oddball thing, is uh, they have already. So the uh, next category um, I'm going to be competing in is the best small ball shells. And most of the, the best categories um, with the exception of the uh, best exhibition and best large ball shells, you have to do pairs, so you have to do two of the same effect. And uh, you can tell on these, I've actually put two different tails with these, and that's what that is. These are four inch uh, best small ball shell, and they are red with yellow rings, and of course rising tails. So that's two of the exact same effect there. And this year I'm competing in the aerial level two. Um, I won the aerial level one competition a couple of years ago, and so uh, now I've moved up to the aerial level two. And this requires four different shells. Um, they can all be different, and all of mine are different, and they are four inches. And so this first one is green to gold with purple pistol, and of course rising tail. And all of mine, uh, except for the couple of large ones, I put two tails on each each one. Um, so that's one of those. The next four inch shell is um, red, white, and blue with flashing pistol and uh, rising tail. The next four inch one is blue crackling with red pistol, rising tail. The last one in the level two four inch shell is a uh, spider web to green with rising tail. So hopefully those will do good. Last year in this in this category, one of my shells didn't fire. And um, later when I went out in the field, they, got, they gave it back to me and it had not even, they didn't even light it. So I don't know if uh, electronically what happened, but there was visco fuse and they're supposed to manually light them if it doesn't go off with the electronically, but they did not for some reason. Um, actually they said that they were told to go on to the next one. So. Anyway, that was kind of a, a bum deal there because, you know, that's the reason you put Visco Fuse on it as well is so they can hand light them. Okay, so the next category I'm competing in is the best medium ball shell. And these are five inches. And, of course, there's a pair of these as well. And both of these are a double, I did a double pedal of gold glitter with rising tails. See how those do. And the next category, which uh, also there's two shells with these, these are six inches. And these are actually ghost shells. And uh, we'll see how these go. Um, and they also have rising tail. With these, I actually made a little um, template, a little plastic template to fit down inside a Hemi. And it gave me four quadrants. And I put different effects, changing effects in each quadrant in each half. and. Uh, so there should be eight different sections changing colors. We'll see how that goes. In theory, that's what it's supposed to do. You never know. 
Okay, and then in the best, the best uh, large ball shell competition, like I said, this category, um, you can enter a single shell. And um, I'm entering eight inch shells this time and two of two different two different shells and effects. The first one is a uh, red with blue crackling pistol and I've actually got turbillions in here too. And of course a larger rising tail. And the next uh, the second entry for the best large ball shell is another eight inch shell. This one is also a ghost shell. Uh, has a, a rising tail. This particular ghost shell I had a lot of comp, uh, a lot of comp with um, different, just a small amount of different effects, and so I rolled, um, I don't know, maybe six or seven different uh, types of composition on on the uh, stars and layered them. So there's no telling what kind of colors it'll come out as, but they should be all multiple changing um, effects. So we'll see how that goes. You just, like I said, you just never know how, how they're going to do. And for my best exhibition ball shell, I'll slide this one over where you can see it. Um, this guy is uh, 10 inch, and uh, it's actually chrysanthemum crossettes with a green crackling pistol. And instead of a tail, I decided to try an ascending comet. An ascending comet is, uh, let's see, two, four, six, eight different comets uh, tubes that are going to shoot out the comets from each end. And they're timed where um, each row is a different time, uh, time fuse. And so it should be shooting them out different directions as it goes up. Um, so that's, that's what an ascending comet is. Never done one. Uh, I've, test, I've tested them individually and they do really good. Like I said, the time fuse goes in, into the center of these, and so it, uh, the, the break is in the middle and it shoots them out the end. So we shall see. I'm looking forward to seeing that one. I hope, hope everything goes well with that. Um, I did large cross sets with these. We'll see how those go. Anyway, that's uh, what I'm taking this year. And uh, I'll, I'm actually going to do another video to show you how the competition works. Um, on the PGI website, they have, you know, they have the rules and and the schedule and that sort of thing, and show you about, you know, what's allowed, what's not allowed, uh, the different effects. But when I first started, it's like there's nowhere that tells you what to do. You know, uh, what like you're supposed to go to meetings and you've got to do this. You've got to store them in magazines. You got to take them. You know, uh, anyway, there's a whole bunch of stuff that that I just that was not available online. And uh, I didn't have anybody that I knew that close enough that was uh, had competed in the past to actually ask questions. So um, my first year competing, it was a little it was a little nerve wracking just just to be competing, but then not know what the heck was going on. So anyway, I'm gonna do a whole nother video on that, and that'll be coming up later. So uh, anyway, um, hopefully if you guys can go, you get to see my shells this year, and uh, hopefully I'll come home with some trophies. We'll see. Anyway, thanks. See you later.